Hi guys, this is another video on Simulate. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at how to create labels, in particular a numeric label. Right, we're going to start off with a start point. In the start point, we find the actions button. And there we will use add a label to change. And I'm going to simply use new. Right, and you'll see label five has been, been created. It gives me the option of number and text labels. For now, we're just going to use a number label. That's fine. We click on that and we select label five. And you'll see label five appears in our actions box. I can now go and add a value to that by means of using the set to option all right say to option i can simply go and put any value in there all right there are other options there as well we're not going to look at that just yet we'll do that another time all right i now have my label five listed there click ok and ok again all right, I have already created a label for this model. The label in this case is the urgency label. You'll see it's available there, urgency label. The value there is 60. We're going to use that one. All right, click out of that, click out of that. Let's just go back to the first start point. All right. Let's forget about the label five for now. We look at the urgency label. Value here is 50. Remember the other one was 60. Okay. So, okay. Click out of all those. Now the question is, what do I do with those? Those urgency labels are simply used in this case to indicate a priority during queuing. So if we look at the polish queue, open that up, we'll open that up, and under normal circumstances this is what you will see, but we've chosen prioritize and we can prioritize based on urgency, which is our label. Alright, click OK, and I could reverse the priority meaning that I choose the lowest value first. But in this case, we're going to choose the highest value. Okay, click out of that. We have the same over here. Click. And you'll see that I've prioritized against the urgency label in that case as well. All right. If I now run my model, it will give preference to any item out of delivery two, it will give preference in the polish and the inspection queues. All right, we can do a quick run and see how that works. Go home. Right, in order to check whether that uh, priority or that urgency label is working properly, let's run the model and compare the queuing times at the polish queue and the inspection queue in for both of those options. Right, I've set my time at, at the maximum speed and I'm going to run it. Okay, let's finish running. I can go to my the results manager and now we can see that the average queuing time is indicated 
that's the average queuing time for all parts. There's the average queuing time for the parts with a 50 priority. And the average queuing time for parts with a 60 priority. In this case, you can see that anything with a 60 priority has a much shorter queuing time. This. All right, and that's how the urgency or the priority option works in labels. All right, thank you for watching.